Hello everyone and welcome to the draw for this year's 2020 RSL President's Cup Tournament. We're excited to have all of the teams with us for the boys U13 through U18 age groups. The tournament this year will be hosted in Mesquite, Nevada on January 16th through the 20th. We have a total of 81 total teams participating in the tournament this year, so we're excited to have you all. Before we get started with the draw, just a few points of information about how this will work since this is the first time we're doing a draw with the uh, President's Cup tournament. Top four seeds will be decided as follows. A1 in any age group will go to any returning President's Cup champion that we have. After that, B1, C1, and D1, and in any case where we don't have a President's Cup champion, A1 will all be determined by their current league standings, starting with any premier teams that are registered, then dropping down to Division I, Division II, and so on. Uh, once this video is posted, you will have until Monday, December 23rd at 8 a.m., to send in any coaching conflict or schedule requests. So this would be for a coach who coaches in multiple age groups or maybe a Northern Utah team trying to avoid Thursday night play. Any requests like that should be sent in by Monday, December 23rd at 8 a.m. And also any discrepancies about how the ranking was done or how the draw was done. If you have any questions or feel that it was not done correctly, you can email me those concerns as well at zdean at utahyouthsoccer.net. Again, I'm Zorm Dean, the tournament director for the President's Cup. If you're unable to get a hold of me, you can reach out to Josh Magleby as well. He's the assistant tournament director and be happy to help you as well. Uh, just one note with the scheduling requests, we do try to accommodate all. We do prioritize coaching conflicts first and we will do our very best to try to accommodate all of those requests, but with limited field space and such, we're not always able to do so. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump into the draw. Best of luck to everybody, and we look forward to seeing you after the fact in Mesquite. The boys U13 age group is uh, a bit peculiar this year. We did have an issue with the registration through Affinity, and therefore this uh, particular age group has 18 total teams inside the bracket. So how this will work is the age group is divided into five different brackets, A through E, uh, with E and D having four total teams, and uh, C as well, and then B and A will only have three total teams. Advancing on to quarterfinals, we will take the top seed from each bracket, as well as three additional wild cards for the quarterfinal. Um, the top seeds were decided based solely on league standings starting from Premier 1 through Premier 2 down to Division 1 uh, and so on. There were no returning uh, President's Cup champions for this age group so the number one seeds once again were all decided based on uh, current league standings. So uh, for Group A we have UDA 07 White for Group B, we have Utah Valley United Premier. For Group C, we have Metasport FC. For Group D, we have L30 Nitro. And then for Group E, over on the side, we have Provo, Provo Football Academy. So those will be our number one seeds. The rest of the spots will fill in in snake order. So we went this way for the first row. We'll now come back, starting with uh, second of Group E. Fill in the second row, down to A3 to complete that bracket, fill back over to E3, and then complete with E4. The rest of the teams are in these eggs. We'll go ahead and draw, and as I draw, they'll be placed in their proper spots. So let's get started, uh, beginning with uh, spot two in group E. For spot two in group E, we have FC Mesquite Attack. Second in Group D, Wasatch SC 07B MB. For Group C, we have Blue Knights B or Blue 07 KM. Now for B2. L30 Leon SC 
boys 07 LK. For A2, LaRocca M. Hernandez White. A3 will now complete the A bracket. In spot A3, we have LaRocca A. Barkram. For B3, and to complete the B bracket, we have Ignite FC 07 Boys Orange. Again, groups A and group B are now complete. Group C, spot 3, will be given to Utah Surf 07 BJW. D3 will be Heat FC 07 BWD. Alright, over to group E. E3 will be Rage FC 07 Boys OA. And now for the last three spots, completing all three brackets, starting with group E, we have United FC Black 07. To complete group D, we have LaRocca J. Hickman. In our final spot in the tournament for group C, spot D will be given to Guerrero FC 07 Boys. So this is, these are your brackets for the boys U13 age group. Uh, once this is sent out, you will have until Monday, December 23rd at 8 a.m. to send in either any scheduling conflicts or requests that you may have. In addition, if you have any dispute on any of these uh, positions or rankings, you'll have until that same time, Monday, December 23rd at 8 a.m. to send me an email at zdean at utahyouthsoccer.net or you can also reach out to our assistant tournament director, Josh Magleby. We're excited to have you guys down for the tournament again January 16th through the 20th. Best of luck to all teams involved and we'll see you down there. And now we'll begin with the boys U14 age group. This age group has 13 total teams, so our bracket will be divided, our age group will be divided into four brackets. Uh, three teams, three teams, three teams, and group D will have four teams. Uh, again, this will be filled out in a snake format. Our first team that we draw randomly will fill in spot D2. Our top seeds are given in this age group uh, solely based on league standings. We had no President's Cup returning champions for this age group. They are Seven Elite Academy, Aggies FC NUU Royalty, Blue Knights Premier, and Metasport FC. So those are your top four seeds for each group. We'll now fill in the rest beginning with D2. D2 spot goes to UDA 06 Boys White. C2 will go to NUU Riverhawks. B2 Cholos 2006. And the A2 spot will be filled by LaRocca T. Cano. We'll now drop down to A3 and complete 
group A, B, and C with these next three draws. For A3, the spot will be filled by Provo Football Academy 06. B3 and the B group will be filled out by Utah Rangers Blue. And for the final spot in Group C, we have Strikers MM. This next team will fill spot D3. And it will be Cottonwood FC Red, which means that our final team in this age group in the spot of D4 will be Gremio FC Utah. Again, congratulations to all teams and we're excited to have you. We'll see you down in Mesquite. Alright, and now we'll move on to the Boys U15 age group. This age group did have a President's Cup returning champion. It was Fire FC Black 05 boys. So they did take the number one overall seed in this age group. The other three top seeds were decided by uh, their league standings, current league standings. And those spots went to Aggies FC, USA Premier, and Cruz Azul. I should note as well before starting this uh, age group that we do have an 04 SEMA team that will be playing in this age group. They will not be playing any of their 04 boys. They only had a few on their roster. They will only be playing 05 boys and therefore qualify to play in the 05 bracket. So do not be discouraged when that name comes up. They are only playing 05 players. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This is a snake draw. So we will begin with D2 and work our way back to the A group. In D2, we have UDA 05 Blue. In C2, 7 Elite Academy 05 Boys South. In B2, we have SEMA FC 04 Gray MW. Again, only playing 05 boys. And in A2, we have Impact EA. We will now drop down to A3 and work our way back towards D before working our way back one final time to fill the brackets. In A3, USA Elite 05 JP. B3, UAFC AF05 Boys. C3, Cholos, O5A, and D3, Aggies, FC, JW, Blue, NUU. We will now drop down to D4 to complete all four brackets. In the D4 spot, L30 Titans. In the C4 spot. Metasport FC05 L30. In the B4 spot. Guerrero FC. 
which means our final spot in the age group in A4 will be Fire FC Blue. This being a 16 team bracket, a full age group, we will take the top two seeds from each group to advance on to quarterfinals. Best of luck everyone, and we look forward to seeing you at the ski. Okay, we'll now begin with the boys U16 age group. This is a 16 team age group, so it's full. For quarterfinals, we will take the top two teams to advance on from each bracket within the age group. Uh, top four seeds in this age group were decided solely based on league standings. There were no returning President's Cup champion for this age group. So the uh, top seeds went to Metasport FC, Sparta Premier, Impact PB, uh, or excuse me, BM, and Cholos 2004A. So those are your top four seeds. This is a snake draw once again, so we will begin with the D2 spot and fill our way back this way and then snake it all the way through. It is worth noting as well before we start the draw that this age group does have an 03 team in it. It's a United FC Black team. They have advised that they will not be playing any of their 03 players. They only had a few on their roster. They will only be playing 04 boys. So they are qualified to play in the 04 bracket. So don't freak out if you see that 03 team in your age group. They will not be playing any of their 03 boys. So we'll now begin to fill in the team, starting again with the D2 spot. In D2, we have UDA 04 Gray. In the C2 spot, LaRocca J. Hickman F. Escobar. B2, Heat FC BR. And A2, Wasatch SCKT. We will now drop down and fill in A3 and work our way back to group B. In the A3 spot, Blast 04. In the B3 spot, N U U Viva and in the C three spot Cottonwood FC Red in the D three spot we have Forza FC O four J R. We will now drop down. To the fourth row for D4, complete the D bracket and work our way back to A4. D4 will be filled by USA Premier 04 PS. C4 will be filled by UAFC AF 04B. B4 will be filled by VK Cobras 04MA, which means our final spot in the age group, A4, will go to the United FC Black 03 team, again, who will only be playing 04 boys on their roster. They will not be playing any 03 boys. Again, we'll take the top two seeds of each group and advance them on to quarterfinals. Best of luck to everyone, we'll see you in the ski. Now we'll start with the boys U17 bracket for the draw. This is an 11 team bracket, so how this will work 
is we will take the top two teams from each of the three brackets within the age group, and then we will have two wild card spots for the quarterfinals that will make eight total teams to advance on. Uh, spot, top seeds in this group were given to uh, four teams based on their league standings. We did not have any returning President's Cup champion in this age group. So our top seeds go to L30 Northern United, La Roca NO, Blue Knights Premier, and since we do not have a Group D, the Group D number one seed will then drop to C2, which is Utah Storm Decker. The rest of the bracket or the age group will be filled out in snake formats. We will snake back to A, drop down to the third row, and work our way back until all spots are filled. So the next spot we will fill in is B2. B2, Strikers MM. A2 UDA 03 White We will now drop down to A3 and complete the bracket of A. A3 goes to Wasatch SC TM over to B3 L30 Titans. C3 will be filled by USA Elite DN. We will now drop down to C4 and complete brackets C and B. C4 will be filled by Heat FC03 TS which means that our final team and our final spot of B4 will be Blue Knights JM. Again, this is an 11 team bracket. We will take the top two teams from each uh, of the groups to advance on with two additional wild cards, making eight total teams for quarterfinals. We're excited to see you all down at the ski. Best of luck. with the boys U18 draw. This is a seven team bracket, so there will only be two groups within the bracket. A group will have three teams, B group will have four. We will not have a quarterfinal for this age group. We will advance directly from pool play on to semifinals. We will take the top two teams from each pool. There was a uh, President's Cup returning champion for this age group, which was Gremio FC Utah. So they take the number one overall spot. We then move over to the number two spot, which is UDA Blue. Drop down to what would have been C1, which is SCSL CV United. And then what would have been D1, uh, Copper Mountain 02 RL. So those are the top four seeds already decided. Again, first seed by returning President's Cup champion, the other three by current league standings. We only have three spots left to fill. We will drop down to A3 and complete the A group first as this is a snake draw. And then we will fill out B3 and B4. So to fill out our A group in the third spot, we have Rampage 02. B3. USA Premier DN, which means that our final spot in this age group at D4 will go to Blue Knights 02 JM. Again, a seven team bracket. We will have no quarterfinals. We will advance directly to semis, taking the top two from each group to perform in those semifinals. Best of luck to everybody, and we'll be excited to see you guys down in the seat.
And there you have it, folks. There's the draw for the RSL 2020 President's Cup Tournament. Once again, congratulations to all the teams who were accept accepted to the tournament. We are excited to have you and look forward to seeing you down in Mesquite. Again, the tournament will be held January 16th through the 20th. And just one final reminder that, again, if you have any scheduling requests or any concerns about how the draw or the rankings were done, you need to send those in to me by email no later than Monday, December 23rd at 8 a.m. My email is zdean, that's D-E-A-N, at utahyouthsoccer.net. And again, those need to be sent in no later than Monday, December 23rd at 8 a.m. Once again, best of luck to everyone, and we'll see you in Mesquite.